In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your very own brand voice for your team and your business in Canva. With the latest release of Canva Magic Studio, you can do a lot more with creating your brand kit and that includes creating your brand voice. If this is something you want to learn, keep watching. Guys, let's dive right into it so if you have been watching my videos then you would know that one of the things i talk about more very often is brand kits creating a brand kit using a brand kit making sure that your designs are cohesive and consistent and you know you're sending the right message and you're talking to your audience the right way that kind of thing i am big on building an online presence but also staying on brand and using the right colors and all of those things right so i'm pretty excited about this new feature that's a part of the magic studio which is being able to write copy that is on brand in no time. No, I did a video on in terms of why you need a brand kit and how to create one. But of course, there have been some changes in Canva and this video is a great way for you to learn how to create your, not really create your brand kit, but to make your brand kit um, come to life if you had one before. So if you didn't have one before, you can check out my video here, right? Where I showed you how to create a brand kit because it's pretty much the same. However, this video is going to give you like a little more a deeper dive and you're going to see how i build out my brand kit using canva's latest features cool all right so on the left hand tab i'm going to go home and on the left hand tab there's a section that says brand no so this is like your brand hub where you find your brand templates your brand controls and all of these things in terms of who can have access to your brand colors and this is great for persons who have a team and the team is using their Canva account right and if you have Canva teams then of course but I also created a brand template, you know, I can build it out, I can add it to different folders for different brand kits that I've created and of course I have a lot of brand kits here, but for this video I'm just going to build out my brand kit more for my channel Carry Digital and my business Carry Digital, alright? So already you see that I have my logo, I have my colors, I have my fonts. But then there are some things that need I could really, you know, fill out much better, like photos and graphics and icons. And yeah, I can bring it to life. So let's dive into it, right? So with the Magic Studio, okay, before I jump into that Magic Studio, what your brand kit helps you to do, and I'll say it again, it helps you to stay on brand. So when you build out your brand kit, when you are designing your graphics in Canva, one of the things is that if you choose a template, right, and you want to make it your own, you can simply click, hey, brand kit, and you know, it will change the colors. If you have been watching my videos, I've done this in the previous videos in terms of how I transform like magic design templates into my own using my brand kit. And Canva is really driving the use of brand kits and the brand colors and that kind of thing because they know they're empowering more people to use and design can to use Canva to design in Canva. But the truth is a lot of persons who are designing don't necessarily have the know-how of design fully. And and so there are some design elements that have been missing in terms of design and Canva is really trying to bring it back in by introducing certain features to help persons stay on brand and really make great designs in Canva. Said a mouthful, but I hope you got what I'm saying, right? So your brand kit typically includes your logo, your brand colors, and your fonts. But with the newest feature rolled out with Canva Magic Studio, it now includes brand voice. And I'm going to start here because this is the most exciting part or one of the most exciting parts and because it's fairly new to be honest. All right. So with brand voice, what is that really? and this is for my people who are creating content on social media if you're in marketing if you're engaging anyone this is important so your brand voice is how you communicate to your audience are you engaging are you personable are you relatable are you friendly are you like a very are you informative are you entertaining are you trying to convince are you trying to tell a story what is it and so based on your brand 
what your brand is about, what your business is about, then of course you can create, you can give a Canva that leverage to help you to stay on brand whenever you're creating your copy in Canva. And this helps greatly because with Canva Magic Design, one, it is shaving off a lot of time for you to do designs, but the outside of just creating the template, it suggests copy. And so if you go here and you build out your brand voice, what you'll realize is that your copy will read more closely to how you speak and how you communicate with your audience. All right. So I'm going to go here and try brand voice in a design and let me just edit. So, okay. Yeah. Cause I did put something here so I can edit it from here. I don't want to jump into design. So I have up to 500 characters and I said, our voice at Care Digital is engaging, personable, relatable, and friendly. I could go ahead and describe my brand's unique personality, how I communicate with my audience. And like it says here, your voice is an important way to attract people to your brand, create connections and build trust. And I think for right now, this is pretty decent. All right. So I am saving that. Then I'm going to go here, save. And I am going to say generate in this brand voice. All right. And so it won, it selected Care Digital as my brand voice because it knows which brand I'm focusing on. And now I am going to go ahead and I'm going to say. So it generated a blog post and I'm just going to go through and see if it speaks to how, you know, if it's similar to how I speak to my audience or if it matches the tone that I gave it, which is I'm saying I'm engaging, personable, relatable, and friendly. All right. Are you a woman entrepreneur looking to build your online presence in today's digital age? It's more important than ever for small business owners to have a strong online presence. Everything seems to help you define your goal before you start. Da, 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 take your time. Da, 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 what makes you okay? So for me, it's engaging because it's asking questions. So it it meets that. Um, let's see if it's personable. It's some it's personable, I would say, because it connects the, the the statement to the person so they can like you know is this me or is it not so i like that especially with this so this is how you can utilize your brand voice so once you tell it what your voice is then of course this is a great way for you to make creating copy easier and the brand voice is pretty much connected to magic right so if you're using the magic right feature i'm going to go ahead and try something else and i'm going to just show you magic right and of course it's selected based on my brand care digital and i can go again and say i'm going to try an example it says um generate five posts announcing a product launch for our brand new alarm clock phone app all right, and let's see if it matches the brand voice. One horizon shine early birds da 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 da. So it's again engaging. It asks its questions. It tries to make it very personable. I don't see a lot of friendliness, but I believe also because it's engaging, it should have some element of friendliness. So I think it do it does a very decent job. All right, so this is how you can utilize your brand voice um, in association or just integrated with the magic, right? Now I'm going back over to the magic, um, more magic, but really the brand kit. And just to give you a brief overview, you can add your photos here. So you can add a photo, right? So I can go to my desktop and I can upload or I can drag and drop. Or I could have gone and done the same thing in terms of adding. So I could, again, add something new, upload my photos. It's the same for graphics. I can upload my graphics and I can add guidelines. So write guidelines to help your team understand how, where, and when to use graphics. Again, this is perfect for teams. So if you have a marketing department, this is perfect. And I can also add my icons. Like I said, I did a video in terms of how to create your brand kit. So you want to check out that video because I did a really good breakdown on how you can create. But this video, like I said, really focus more on how to 
fill out your brand kit so that you can um, include a section for your brand voice which will make creating copy easier in Canva. All right. So remember, this is available with the features of Canva Pro, Canva Teams. And if you don't have access to that, you can click the link in my description, try it free for 30 days and see if it's something you like. So for more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this Canva tutorial, give this video a thumbs up and leave your comments in the box below. I'd love to hear from you. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you want to get more Canva tutorials just like this.